Okay, here we are. So um, you've just missed out on the fun on this video of dead silence for about two minutes while I waited for an answer and everybody waited for me to give an answer. And it turns out that I lost and I gave an answer. Um, 27 degrees is the difference between Brisbane's location and the equator. Therefore, the distance will be the number of degrees times 111.2. Don't overcomplicate this process. Two things I need to say. First of all, determine if it's on a great circle. And if it's on a great circle, just get the angular difference and multiply by 111.2. That's all you need to do. You don't need to quote the 40,030. You don't even have to know the 30,030. Not at this stage. Now, we haven't talked about small circles properly yet. So therefore, every question I give you right now is on a great circle. You don't even have to think about it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, what is 27 times 111.2? That shouldn't say degrees, so that should say kilometres. Say it louder, 3,000. 3,000. 3,002. Thanks. So I had to work out who was talking to me first so I could actually watch them. Um, so that's A. Now the second one is to the South Pole. We're still in the same great circle. The South Pole is here. So if this bit here is 27 degrees, what's this bit? We're talking about this segment. For those people watching the video, I'm going to play the silence game again. Which is? Sixty-three. So it's ninety minus twenty-seven degrees. So the South Pole to the equator. That's a 90 degree angle. We're talking about directly south to directly into the centre of the earth here. 90 degree angle, we were 27 degrees, that means it's 63 degrees further to the South Pole. So it's 63 degrees, um, so therefore the distance is equal to, not 27, I'm just copying now, which is bad, 63 times 111.2, and if somebody can do that calculation for me, Like we're destined. I'm, I'm saying Miss Holmes deliberately set these up so there was just thousands and ten and units just to muck up my hearing. I'm sure that's what happened. Um, what about the North Pole? What's the distance to the North Pole? Yes, yes. Barely even silence then. This is 90 degrees, so it's 90 plus an additional 27, and so therefore part C to the North Pole is 90 plus 27 degrees, that's the angular difference, and therefore the distance is equal to 117 um, times 111.2, and that's equal to these two, no, they're not equal to those two added together, so it's about um, 13,000. And 10.4. Yeah, 0.4. There we go. Um, and that makes sense because it's just two times this and one times that to get up there. So um, a couple of things, as you're doing these questions, you might find this guy, which is just a circle with some dotted lines, actually really helps you. If you're lucky in the exam, one of the questions might provide one of these. Or one of the questions, or there might be a map of the world for a question. And you could use that map of the world to help you with this. So there's lots of different variants um, that might help you. Or practice drawing these diagrams because it might help you as well. Um, question 16 to 19, but I need to talk to you about small circles as well. So we haven't got a great deal of time left. We're on to 9.30. Oh, oh no, we're not. We're on to 9.15, aren't we? Yeah. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to have a look at question 16. And then I'm going to talk about small circles, and then we're done for 5B. Thanks.